Have you ever looked up at the sky on a clear day and wondered why it's blue? It seems like such a simple question, but the answer involves some fascinating physics. The key to understanding the blue sky lies in the Earth's atmosphere. The atmosphere is a layer of gases that surrounds our planet, and it's made up of mostly nitrogen and oxygen molecules. Now sunlight is made up of all the colors of the rainbow. But sunlight travels in waves, and each color has a different wavelength. Blue and violet light have shorter wavelengths, while red and orange light have longer wavelengths. As sunlight enters the Earth's atmosphere, it collides with these tiny air molecules. This collision causes the light to scatter in different directions. This scattering is called Rayleigh scattering, and it's more effective at shorter wavelengths. This means that blue and violet light are scattered much more than red and orange light. So, why isn't the sky violet, since violet light has the shortest wavelength? Well, there's less violet light in sunlight to begin with, and our eyes are also less sensitive to violet light. That's why we see the sky as blue. At sunset, the sunlight has to travel through more of the atmosphere to reach our eyes. This means that most of the blue light has already been scattered away, leaving the longer wavelengths of red and orange to dominate. That's why sunsets are often red or orange. Oh my love, in the moon's gentle glow, every heart so, the next time you look up at the blue sky or admire a colorful sunset, remember the amazing science of Rayleigh scattering at work. If you enjoyed this scientific explanation, be sure to subscribe to HowYTube for more explorations of the science all around us. Thanks for watching.